This is a continuation of a series of videos where I show you how to create a heat map in Excel without using additional add-ins or having to purchase uh, third-party software to do that. So if you haven't seen my other videos, I have one video where I go through this US map fairly in depth and then I also created a series of videos on how you can create uh, a map in Excel for yourself. So if you haven't seen those yet, I would suggest you take a look at those and I will uh, put a link to those videos in uh, the video notes uh, here. So I'm always trying to improve uh, this map and, and one thing I've been trying to do recently is develop a way to change uh, percentages. And at first I thought you can, I can use a selector box like this one here where maybe you'd have uh, you know, some varied stratification of percentages. So for example, maybe 100%, 90%, 80%, or maybe 110%, you know, et cetera. Uh, maybe you could also have a drop-down box as well. But I thought that would be a little bit labor-intensive. Um, and I thought one kind of cool way to do this, if I could do it, is have a slider uh, slide rule where you could simply change the percentages and really see the real-time changes as you're sliding back and forth. And so it took a little bit of, uh, actually quite a bit of time to develop it, but I think I've got it uh, somewhat perfected. And so here's what I've developed here, these slide rules. And of course, this is just dummy data, but as you click on the little slider box, it changes the proportions within uh, the map uh, equally. And so you'll notice that it's not changing the color coding and that's because as I stated it's it's changing the proportions equally. So if this is a hundred percent of whatever predictive value you have and you take it down to in this case 66 percent. California, Texas, and Florida they're still the highest values because you've changed the proportions equally across all states. And so my next evolution is to create one of these for some other metric that would that could actually change the proportions as well. And so maybe you would slide this box and instead of an equal proportion change, it might change some other metric that would therefore uh, update the heat map itself. And so that's sort of my next evolution. But I was, I guess I was so thrilled to have come up with this and integrated it into the map that I wanted to share it with everyone. And uh, just like with my other my other videos, if you would like a copy of, of this heat map, uh, just uh, you know like the video and I sure would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to start creating more uh, videos on uh, developing these types of uh, dashboards and heat maps in Excel. And then also just shoot me a comment in the, uh, in the video comment section and I'll send you a link uh, to where I'm storing this, this version of the map. But uh, I hope you find this helpful and again stay tuned. I'm going to uh, play around with this a little more and see if I can develop this in a way where it actually changes the heat map, um, the colors as well. And uh, you know I can think of a few uses for that and perhaps uh, you can as well. And, and uh, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback from, from this map. And so I sure definitely appreciate that. And uh, if you have any questions, uh, just throw it in the comment section.